Yes, motherfuckers! What a morning it's been listening to podcasts and cooking up a storm. I'm a chef. I love to cook. I could do it all day. What I've made this morning, I'm essentially doing all my prep for the day so that we can be efficient with our day and working and making muscle gains and enjoying this time in San Juan del Sur, my Airbnb. That's the ocean right there. It's a three minute walk. We're about to go there. Here's what I've prepped to eat this morning. For Maggie, we have her rice, lentil, broccoli, carrot, mush. And then for me, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. I've been cooking for like almost an hour while I'm listening to Brendan Shaw, Below the Belt, MMA, and Life Podcast. Check out the ripening rack real quick. We got plantains, bananas, mangoes, all the good stuff. And I made a soup this morning. Listen to this concoction that I created. Green split peas, pumpkin, onion, garlic, cinnamon, soy sauce, and coconut milk. I cannot wait to eat those gains later. All right, Maggie, time to go to the beach. I saw lemurs, I think. Not like little macaw or gibbon monkeys. Little baby lemurs in the trees in this Airbnb. <gasps> Maggie, we're in monkey territory. It's the best. I saw monkeys while I was riding into, into San Juan del Sur as well. Monkeys in the wild, just staring at them. It's, it's a spiritual experience. Cleaning up all the trash, these guys, which is awesome because this beach is pretty trashed. Whenever you have businesses out here in Central America so close to the water, it's just not going to end well. There's going to be styrofoam everywhere. One day, I promise, Maggie and I will come down here with a bag and just clean up as much as we can. Was that fun, Maggie? You swam so well. That was so fun. And it's about 10 o'clock now. It is time for my smoothie. I have a blender and I'm freaking out. It's the greatest news ever. And I have a fridge and freezer. So we got four frozen bananas, two frozen mangoes, daily green boost powder, use Plantriotic as the discount code for 10% off, cashews, chia seeds, and water. That is the pre-workout smoothie. A couple ingredients I forgot to tell you. I put a pinch of salt in there, which makes me feel a lot more energized to start the day and passion fruit and cinnamon and mint. Mm. All right, Peggy, you stay here. And I'll be back in an hour. We're gonna eat some green split pea soup and pasta, okay? It's gonna be very yummy, my Maggie. You guys will never believe this. There's some other travelers here from Wisconsin with a blue healer, 11 year old blue healer named Jack, but he's not as social as Maggie.
killer motherfucking workout. I'm feeling so swole. I've easily gained 15, maybe even 20 pounds at this point in the last like 30 days, probably, probably more 15. Some of that being fat, but not too much. I'm, I'm getting thicker, man. This works. Lifting hard and eating plants works. And that's why I'm doing this because a lot of my carnivore ex-vegan friends say plant protein just doesn't assimilate as well. It's not my experience. I'm proving it. I mean, look at my pictures on Instagram from just a few weeks ago. I was sunken in. I was skinny because I wasn't lifting weights and I wasn't eating as much as I am now. But boom, you put in the work and it happens. Hello, my Maggie. Time to eat, my pretty girl. Oh, yeah. Here's what we got. Oh, my gosh. I'm freaking out. I mean, my recipes... Oh, it tastes so good, it's insane. So the split pea soup that I made with the onion and garlic and soy sauce and split peas and pumpkin and carrot and broccoli all stewed down into a soup. I then boiled uh, plantains right there and added in pasta that I cooked. And then I'm eating some mangoes and passion fruit and I'll put some hot sauce on that and that is lunch and dinner i mean i'll have more for dinner later but this portion right now it's off the chain it is so tasty i feel so blessed to be able to eat this food Drop it, Maggie. Drop it for the niños. Drop it. It's the best when I find kids to play with Maggie. I can sit back and relax. Come in, Maggie. Huh. You know, God forbid you found a small stick, Maggie. I'm glad you found the biggest stick on the whole beach, because you're the queen. You're the reina de los palos, Maggie. Good girl, you're a pretty thing. Time for our evening beach session. Every damn day. All the locals are out. It's a beautiful sight. Got an accountability partner call coming in. I'm about to do it on my headphones and I have five more spots that I just opened up. So if you wanna work with me, cost $35 for the whole month. We get a 30 minute uh, video chat call at the beginning and we discuss what you wanna work on. We create a plan and then every single day for 30 days after that, we check in on Facebook Messenger every day to make sure that you're following through on the plan that we created, whether that's weight loss that you want, weight gain and muscle growth, uh, accountability on, on being better at meditation or getting into a meditation practice, uh, what else am I working with people on? Uh, getting over binge eating disorders, getting more comfortable with expanding their diet. I'm working with people on so many things. And if you wanna work with me and be accountable on something and get to know me as well and improve something that you think I can help you with, you can buy that on plantriotic.com slash shop and there's five more spots available. What's up, dude? How's it going? All right, all right. I think that you need a little bit of tough love here, my friend, and you know you need it too. You know what you have to do. We've written it all out. And look, if you want big results, you sometimes got to take extreme action and you can't just sit around and expect for that change to happen. You know what you need to do. You need to treat it like a job and you gotta check in every single day and get it fucking done. And it's not a judgment if you don't do it. It's all up to you. You live a fine life. It's just, do you wanna take it to that next level? 
we've discussed how how you can do that and now you got to follow through and put in the work because if becoming your best friend, uh, your best self was easy everyone would be doing it but no it takes dedication it takes work and you can do it you just have to get the mentality around it you're a warrior of self-improvement A few vlogs ago, I talked about how kind of pessimistic and antisocial I was about just about people in general. And that's because I was on the road so consistently. You know, people are just yelling at me on the streets. There's dogs fighting Maggie. There's dudes abusing animals all over the place. And I was just tired and I was traveling so much. And being in mainly Airbnbs the last like five weeks with just little short riding stints in between that, it has definitely calmed me down, got me back into perspective. I feel like my energy is a lot more gentle and I'm being more social. Like this is a pretty touristy place. I talked to some dudes in the gym, saw some people at some restaurants that maybe I'll meet up with. So while I'm still super introverted and as you saw with today, I mainly like to just do my own thing. I feel, I just feel better about stuff. I feel more balanced, I feel calm, and just wanted to let you know. But I'll be honest too, when I get to places like this that has like a lot of American or European travelers, it's usually a lot of like groovy looking surfer tattooed dudes with their cute girlfriends walking around and I'm walking around with my hairy girlfriend and I love her but uh, it doesn't make me sad but it makes me realize how much I do want to find that partner who wants to come live this lifestyle with me and beyond so yeah I feel I, f I feel the loneliness and even a little bit resentful of myself for choosing to live this way which makes it really hard to get a girlfriend and meet people and just even a tiny bit resentful like about the world and I'm not proud of this it's just I mean I don't blame anyone for not coming and giving me a chance and seeing if we should have a relationship that's a crazy ask I guess I was just a bit naive when I started the trip and expected someone being on social media and showing a really cool life that someone would want to come and join and it just hasn't happened and I wanted to for real I'm not looking for just a little hookup in a beach town I'm looking for someone who wants to live this way with me and I always see travelers like most travelers aren't alone so like the majority of travelers I see in these towns they are with their partner and I never am and I'm just like what the fuck so I know there's no one else to blame but myself but you know, year after year, I've been traveling since college, two years full time now, and still alone. And it's probably my fault, but I don't know. This life is amazing. I don't want to stop. Yo, this is this place is gonna be hard to leave. I can already tell. But the next country is Costa Rica, baby. So it'll probably be even better. dinner time I'm just eating salad tonight just kidding this is the starter salad Maggie's eating her mush of blended rice lentils carrots pumpkin broccoli oil and uh, flax seeds ground flax seeds and I have the leftovers from lunch which is the pasta put in some olives the green split peas and I steamed a bunch of spinach in there as well. And that is my big, beautiful dinner. Got avocado in there, mangoes, onion, cucumbers. What a fucking blessed day. I can't tell you how happy I am to be not biking as much, chilling out, feeling the balance, feeling the gains, proving these carnivores wrong, motherfuckers. 
feels good. I feel in my element now. Much love, Dream Extreme. I'm gonna go Netflix and chill with myself and eat dinner.